Rose. Christopher. Let's check out the 2012 Gary Farrell Hallberg Vineyard Pinot Noir. This is out of Russian River Valley. We're talking a 14.2 alcohol by volume wine coming in around $55. There's about 1,200 cases of it made. And it's a nice garnet in the glass. On the nose, I'm getting some of that really unctuous, exciting, liberal doses of cherry. Maybe even little weird citrus things like a pineapple sort of thing, like a tropical play. Definitely some forest floor, a little bit of pine tar, which is exciting to me. I'm really a fan of that uh, attribute. Definitely some of the oak. I'm assuming new French here is used liberally from the color. What's it doing on the palate? I love this wine. This is like, this is crossing that fine line between Burgundy and a new world. Delivering on just exceptional fruit quality. Loving the grip. It's almost transparent. And it, it's so balanced and transparent. It's there. It's giving, mm. providing structure. And then this just gl glorious fruit. But saying that, it's a baby. It needs a minimum of three years to lay down to let things integrate mm -hmm. and just develop into this glorious and, and you know secondary notes that are mm -hmm. just going to come out of it. Yeah, I'm looking for those secondary things right now. It's very primary. There's a mm -hmm. tart, candied cherry thing that's really dominant, mm -hmm. and it's and it is very nice. And I do see a little bit of structure there, as you mm -hmm. were noting, like the pomard clone coming through. I think there Absolutely. the burgundy influence coming through. So this has a very interesting sort of nerdy take on a California Pinot, I believe. Absolutely. Would love to see what this does in five to ten years, though, if you can stand to hold it. Yeah. Good stuff from Gary Farrell. We'll be back with more on Wine Weirdos. Cheers. Cheers.